Yeah, good morning. We are from SVS Embedded. The project title name is called LED Scrolling Message Display using voice command. So, in this project, we are using uh, HC05 Bluetooth module and one Android voice recognition app we are using. So, one we are using voice recognition app. So, in that app, we are pressing, we are giving the input data. So, must and should this app should be on with the internet. Whenever we are giving the input data from the voice, it, it is taking the voice search and it will be sending the data to the Bluetooth module and the Bluetooth module will receive the data. So the data should be scrolling. So first of all, we are going for the power supply section. So here I am using a 9 volts and 1 ampere power supply. This is an SMPS power supply. So here I am giving to the bridge rectifier, filter capacitor, one 7805 regulator and one LED. So this is entirely Bluetooth model means Bluetooth connected board. It is receiving the data and it is sending the data to the uh, scrolling LED display board. So this is power supply section and here I am using an 889S52 microcontroller. It's an 8-bit microcontroller. Total 40 pin IC, 4 port. Each port consists of 88 pin. Total 32 input output bidirectional. So we are port to 0 we are connected to the LCD display. But when we are going to check the data, we can connect here port 0 is running on LCD code. By the way, I received this LCD. So here port to 1, we are not connected. Port to 2, we are not connected. Port to 3.0 and port to 3.1, it is connected to the max 232. Maxima IC 232 is the standard. It is a level converter IC. Voltage level stabilization purpose I am using. And it is connected to the RS232 cable. Red wire is the transmitter black wire is the receiver brown wire is the ground and here i am using an sc05 bluetooth module sc05 bluetooth module it's in working under 9600 baud rate having 2.4 gigahertz frequency it's a one to one communication working under 3.3 volts power supply i am giving the input power supply to the lm3117 fixed 3.3 volts regulator and this regulator will convert 3.3 and it is giving 3.3 volts so it is max 232 whenever we are sending the data uh, the max so whenever we are receiving the bluetooth data the max 232 will sending the max 232 and here we receive the data so here 40th pin is vcc 20th pin is ground 9th pin is reset and 1819 is the crystal oscillator 11.0592 megahertz crystal crystal is the heart of the circuit for the controller to generate the clock pulses to the internal cpu to run the program so it is always waiting for the data from the phone whether you can go for the bluetooth spp app or android speech recognition app so it is receiving the data and we are sending the data to the another board in this board also we are using a bridge rectifier filter capacitor one 7805 regulator and one led this entire section is called power supply section and here also i am using an 889s52 microcontroller it's an 8-bit microcontroller and port to 0 we are not using port to 2 port to 2.0 port to 2.1 2 3 4 5 6 7 port to 2 cap 0 2 cap 1 2 cap 3 2 cap 4 2 cap 5 2 cap 6 2 cap 7 so these are all the leds are connected to the port to 2 of the uln 2803 driver ic to drive the data from 8 bit mode to why we are using this means to give the brightness of the led and we this is the data line purpose we are using and port 1 cap 0 port 1 cap 1 and port 1 cap 2 those are spa protocol data line and that was connected to the 74 hc 595 uh, character shifter ic means this is character will shift the data so each and every ic having a two two characters it is shifting so the, this IC to two character length. This is an 5 cross 7 LED matrix display board. So we can see the back side. So all the data lines it is going for a main data line, main data line, and each and every data will be sending in the data. And the level shifter will shift the five five characters to two two characters. Means, see it's it is sending the data to the five cross one one character, second character, third character fourth character and the fifth character so it will send the data to the in the form of characters so here we, we are using an max 232 ic whenever we are sending the data it, the max 232 will receive the data and it is receiving the ma a microcontroller and it will take the one space data 
and then ash so here we are using a uh, android speech recognition or r amr underscore voice whenever we are giving the input it is giving the data first character star data that is called matter then ash the ash is the end of the character means the data is closed so whenever we receive the data it is sending the same data and we are displaying the data onto the scrolling led display board now i am going for the power supply section okay something is not coming reset it welcome welcome and android text to speech recognition technique okay so so here the bluetooth module is continuously blinking so here the app is there so in this app first we need to press mm, settings and connect connect back back Let's right click connect 71 71 71 uh, 71 that is called HC05 Bluetooth module once Bluetooth module is connected it is telling as connected to HC05 so that LED should be stop and start means the network is paired so you can give the watch even madam hi I am Divya only hi Matra Machi it was safe. 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 It is receiving the data. It is taking. And the MASH 232 will give to the MASH 232. The data will be scrolls. You have to wait at least 2 to 3 seconds. Huh? Then next data. Hi. I am Divya. 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 Okay, sir. College Piranandu. Where is she? Aditya Engineering College. Aditya Engineering College. Do you read that? Sir, what is the name of the name? 150 characters. C-O-L-L-E-G-U Miru, you can see the data. It should be in the dark space. If you have a little bit of length and brightness, you can see the brightness in a dark place. If you have a dark place, you can see the brightness in a dark place. Thanking you. If there is any doubt, let me know to SUS Embedded. Bye.